Tonight's game against Central Michigan is Ohio's fourth in seven days, and after playing a five-setter on Thursday against Kent State, the Bobcats were hoping for a quick match and a quick win against CMU. Well, they didn't quite get that. First set, Central Michigan took the lead and held fast until the Cats drew even at 10. Ohio protected their lead through some great rallies until CMU scored three straight and tied it at 20, but the Cats won the set 25-23 with a Chelsea Bilger kill. Second set, five ties through the first 10 points. And Ohio secured the lead, but Central chipped away and knotted it at 19 with a 5-0 run. The race to 25 needed another five ties and one extra point before CMU won it 26-24. Turning to the third set, six ties took the score to nine all. Then the Cats and Chips traded three nothing runs for a 12-12 tie. Seven straight points for CMU put them ahead 19-13 and Ohio could not claw back. The Chippewas took the third set 25-18. Fourth set, the green and white controlled it and won it 25-15. We asked Coach Tice to talk about what happened. I don't think we did a lot different. Um, I, I think both teams have had issues with consistency during the year. Uh, and, and I just think that, that we kind of caught, caught them off or pushed them to get off. We put enough pressure on them. They finally started taking yeah. some swings that our block could get our hands on. I think we had 10 blocks in the fourth and fifth, which is more than we had in the first three combined. So, you know, I think it was just a matter of, of finally we were able to break through and get some of those. Set number five, it is only fitting that it had six ties to start, but the Cats pushed ahead in a set that was jam-packed with emotion and they powered ahead to a 15 to 10 win. I thought we did really well with the energy tonight, just feeding off of theirs, and you know, like when we get a big kill, you know, we yell right back at them, so that was nice. With volleyball's win, Ohio Athletics was seven and zero oh this week between volleyball, women's basketball, football, swimming and diving, and field hockey. And as one swimmer said as she left the convo, it's a good day to be a Bobcat. For Bobcat Sports Showcase, I'm Maddie Kuhn.